Hey GED students, um, I got a request for a um, help with a problem here and this is an equation. Um, directions would probably say something like solve. Um, but I already knew that I could solve it because of this uh, equal sign here. See how this is two expressions, two mathematical statements that are equivalent, they're equal to each other? Um, that tells me that I could solve for h, find out what h is equal to. And so I'm going to do that. Now I'll just remind you that the basic um, steps for solving linear equations and um, there's two types of equations we have to learn to solve for the GED, linear and quadratic, um, but uh, linear are the simpler ones. So the three basic steps are one, simplify if possible. If you can, if there's any work to do on the left or right hand side, we're going to go ahead and do that, simplify. And I think that's probably where poor Alexander got stuck right here, um, looking at this fraction and how gross that right hand side looks. So we'll do that. as our first step. Okay, so what I notice here is some straightforward math I know how to do. I know how to obey this symbol. I can add five and 11, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That is known as simplifying. When you are performing the indicated operation, you are simplifying, so I'm gonna do that. 11 plus five is 16. Now this thing was in parentheses, so it's multiplying with h, which is shoved up against negative one half, so that's also multiplying. These three numbers are multiplying, and that's all equal to 17. And so what I would argue is that there's one more step of multiplication I can do. There's more simplifying that can be done. Um, basically, if you have three numbers multiplying, and I do, I have negative one half, h and 16 multiplying. You can multiply in any order you want. Now here's the good news. Whenever you're, um, you know, doing algebra on the GED, you do get your calculator. So if you're not sure how to multiply uh, together with fractions, you could certainly do it in your calculator, but I can do this one really easily in my head. And that's by remembering, and which one I'm talking about is negative one half times 16. I'm going to multiply, and I said I can multiply in any order I want, so I'm going to use that power uh, to put together the two numbers. So remember that um, multiplying means the same as the word of. So if I'm saying like half times 16, that's like half of 16. So I know that half of 16 is 8. Now it wasn't a positive half, it was a negative half, and so I'll get negative 8. Um, and that's what I got when I multiplied together negative one half and 16. Now the H will drop down and that's equal to 17. Now let's take a little calculator break for the people who are like, Kate, sure, it's nice that you can multiply fractions in your head, but what about the rest of us? Okay, to type this into the GED calculator, you would first want to hit the minus button, or the, I should say the negative button, which is down at the bottom of the screen uh, by the enter, or bottom of the calculator by the enter button. It looks like this. It looks like a negative in parentheses. So put that and then a one. So negative one and then hit the N over D button, N over D button to get your fraction. And then you can type the two for the fraction. Now, depending what mode you're in, your calculator is going to look one of two ways. Either you'll have this diagonal um, fraction bar, in which case you can just go ahead and use a parentheses for times and then type in the 16, close parentheses and then press enter. But be careful, the TI, if it's in math print mode and your fraction will look like this with the nice horizontal fraction bar, and you'll notice that your cursor is blinking down here at the bottom. So super important to get out of the fraction before typing times 16 by hitting the right arrow key. Okay, so I'll hit right arrow and then I can do times 16 and enter. Either way, I will get negative 8. All right, now this sucker is almost done, but in order to solve this, I'm going to have to get rid of the negative eight. So after simplifying the left and the right hand side, um, the next thing that we usually do, let me erase this. The next thing we usually do is work to get the letters to the same side, but you're gonna notice here that I only have a letter on one side of my equation. I only have a variable on the right hand side. So I do not need to work to get all the letters together. So then what I will do is 
go ahead and start solving, working to isolate the variable. Get the letter alone. Okay, so right now this variable, this h is not alone on its side of the equation. It has a negative 8 hanging out, and so I am going to need to uh, get rid of that negative 8. In order to do that, you really have to ask yourself what negative 8 and h are doing. Notice how they're shoved together with nothing in between them. The, this 8 is not subtracting. This is a negative 8 multiplying h, and so I am going to do the opposite of multiplying. I'm going to divide by negative 8. Now remember that we can do whatever we want to an equation as long as we do it to both sides, so I'll get negative 8 over there as well. Now, on the right-hand side, multiplying and dividing by negative 8, 8 cancels, so h is alone just like I wanted. And on this side, it's kind of an ugly fraction, but be aware that your GED calculator will simplify fractions for you if you use the n over d button. So I'm going to type 17, n over d, 17, then n over d, and then negative 8. Whoops, negative 8. And it'll tell you that that's negative 17 over 8. That's as simple as that fraction gets, and it's done. If you did used a divide by button, 17 or 17 divided by negative 8, and you got this answer, negative 2.125. Those two things are totally equivalent. Either one's acceptable. I don't care which answer you give. They are equivalent. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.